So in today's video, I want to do a quick declutter of all the fragrances that are not working out for me. Um, I think it's partly due to the season, but also because I've just been trying, I've been nursing these and not many fragrances have come into my collection in the past eight months or so. So I'm really just trying to whittle down to the bare basics right now. Um, yeah, two of the, two of them were so cheap that, you know, it's no big loss, but um, this one's on the chopping block. This one is from Finery and it's called Mysterious Nomad. Um, so this is a very woody, peppery fragrance. It has zero sweetness to it, zero. And it's just so exquisite. It's so high end. Just gonna spray one spray. I really like that. I think I'm gonna keep it, but it is a shell of something that I'm familiar, I'm more familiar with. But I do really like this one. Um, extremely peppery, and I think the wood is hinoki wood. Um, so I love that. Um, I, ha I also have Tam Dao by Diptyque. I think that this is very, it's stronger. It has less of a pencil shaving vibe than um, Tam Dao, but, and this is far more peppery and it does have a bit of a bite to it and a bit more citrus. Yeah, this is really nice. I think I'm gonna keep this for the time being because it's just so pretty. Um, so that is going to be on the chopping block. I'm going to see how much I reach for it this fall because it is still warm out. I haven't really had a weather scenario occur in my life where it was appropriate where I deemed it appropriate to wear this because it hasn't been cool enough <laughs> in Charlotte North Carolina um and by the way all my prayers go out to the people who were affected by Hurricane Helene in Georgia the Carolinas um Tennessee the Appalachia um and uh Florida um just devastating what's happened and how it's being handled um and my my prayers go out to you anybody who's affected i i can hardly think that people who were affected are watching youtube perfume videos they probably have more you know important things on their mind at the moment but i godspeed i hope that you find rest and peace soon and i hope you find a home soon i'm just my heart's broken for them um, it narrowly skirted, it, the, the storm narrowly skirted Charlotte. We got some torrential rain and some pretty strong winds, um, last Friday, the Friday before last, um, but it only lasted for about an hour or so, and then it calmed down pretty quickly, so I didn't think that it was going to turn into quite as strong of a hurricane as it did. Um, and I certainly didn't think that it was going to hit the mountains as hard as it did. Like, what did it do? Did it mix with another storm system when it went further inland? Like, I don't know why it became stronger as it went further inland. I, I don't get it. So that's scary. God be with you all. And I hope that you find a place where you can get the support that you need. Um, I'm still I'm still doing what I can to donate what I can um, as far as supplies. And I'm going to my, there's a Suffolk Brewing Company. They, they were doing a donation drive um, on the second. Um, and I chipped in some supplies and um, I wanna chip in more um, very soon, probably on uh, sometime it's gonna be sometime next week um but i i just my heart goes out to you all i hope that you all take care of yourselves and i hope you all find yourselves in a better situation very soon um i pray the healing of the lord jesus on you and your lives 
everybody who was affected um, and those people who passed away. I, my heart goes out families. It, it's just terrible what's happened. It takes less than two hours for me to get to Asheville. And Canton, North Carolina was very severely devastated as well. It's, it's harrowing and it's, it's sobering. Um, so those who weren't affected, let's do what we can to um, send positive love, support to anybody and everybody who was affected as much as, much as we can, as much as our finances allow us to. So, cause I'm just gonna be straight up, the government isn't doing anything, so. It, it's it's terrible. It's the government's response to this is just this is ugh, it's terrible. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Most people are getting denied for that. Most people who lost their homes are getting denied seven hundred and fifty dollars because FEMA is broke. So they stopped accepting applications in a lot of areas. I, I, I can't, like, I, 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 if I talk about it too much, I get so pissed. So, um, my heart's with you, and I, I pray, I'm praying for you, um, to get back on your feet soon, um, so that you don't have to withstand this much longer, and so that you can find rest, find peace, and hope that you can get your lives back on track soon, um, so... That's all I'll say on the matter. Um, okay, back to the perfume. Um, so yeah, Mysterious Nomad is $30 at Target. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I think that uh, once the weather allows, I think I'm going to be pulling this out a lot more. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to keep it. This one, I'm so glad that I didn't for a full bottle of this because it is so disgusting. Mm, this makes me sad. <laughs> this is um, um, Kayali Deja Vu White Flower 57. I just have the travel spray. I do not like this. Mm -mm. It's, it's, it's very synthetic. It's very long lasting, so I will give it that. But mm, the opening is just so pungent and it's a nice, it's it's something that I imagine would come from Jean-Paul Gaultier, you know? It's too syrupy, it's too honeyed, it's too heavy. It's just too much, too much. I don't like it, it's too, I don't smell anything natural in here, which I know isn't the point of Kaali fragrances, but this just, it just smells like a jumble to me. It just smells like a mess. And it kind of smells smoky. Yeah, no thanks. I'm so glad that I didn't <laughs> purchase a full bottle. The liquid is gorgeous. I will say that. Okay, good thing I got this on sale. Okay, the next fragrance because I still have my original bottle of this. However, this bottle this bottle was bought from Mercari a long time ago. I know that I store my fragrances correctly. The person I bought this from, however, did not store this fragrance correctly. Let me show you the difference in color between this bottle I bought from Mercari and this bottle that I've had for longer from Fragrance Net, okay? Do you see the brown undertone in the liquid? You see how much darker this is? Yeah, this was kept in a bathroom. <laughs> Um, a very moisture-ridden, steamy environment. This does not last the same as this does. The top notes are completely gone. Um, it still smells good, but it lasts about two hours, and this lasts about 10 hours. So, 
yeah, this was an $85 mistake. I'm not going to make again. Good thing Mercari is, sorry, is in my rear view mirror right now because they are now charging for seller deposits to their bank accounts. No. When it comes to Mercari, thank you next. They need to go bye bye. Okay. It's nonsense what they're doing. Okay. So, my backup bottle of Mon Parfum Cristal, unfortunately, <sighs> that person didn't take care of it, so. But at least I still have my original. <laughs> and this is an older bottle. I checked the batch codes. So yeah, they, this was kept in a bathroom. I talked about this fragrance in a long bygone video. <laughs> this is, um, Latafa. I just helped a guy move furniture, so I can't. My fingers are sticking. My joints are sticking. <laughs> um, so Latafa Ensemble Gold. Um, I do like this in retrospect. It's very long lasting. It creates the most amazing, just meringue, floral, sweet. The scent bubble with this one is intoxicating. However, it's just not for me. It's too sweet. It's too ice cream. It's too ice creamy. It's it's just not doing it for me. You know, it's just too much. Um, do I love the way it smells? Yes. It's a. This is like a pretty pink, per like pink purple is what I envision. It's a bright neon light in a sea of boring, bland <laughs> fragrances. It's a very colorful fragrance. It's very loud and Barbie. Um, doesn't really match my personality or my vibe. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to it, so. It was nice while it lasted. I made a tiny little dent in this. I'm not really quite sure how big of a dent. Maybe down to here. Not much at all. I wouldn't surpass three sprays with this, to be honest with you, because it is that strong. It's a beast. <laughs> it really is. Um, so Latafa on some gold. This is, oh, by the way, this was supposed to be a dupe of Oriana by Parfums de Marly. Never smelled Oriana, so I would not know. I would not know. Um, but I have heard that this is a one-to-one -one dupe. Um, I've smelled other dupes of Oriana, but I always came back to this one um, because it is more effervescent. The other Oriana dupes I have smelled, um, which has only been like two others, <laughs> uh, one from Zara, which is Velvet Shadow, and another from, I think, Oil Perfumery. Um, Zara made the same mistake. They made their version of Oriana like a shell of what this is. So all I get is like a, th a thick blanket of sweetness, just nondescript sweetness, vanilla, with some berries. Yeah, this this has more effervescence, it has more oomph to it, um, it has more depth and more character, more, you know, it's just, it has more character and more development. I thoroughly enjoy it from start to finish, but not always. Not always. Um, I just find that I've rarely been in the mood for fragrances like this. Um, very rarely. So, unfortunately, I can't really see this as a contender to one day being my signature scent because it's a it it requires a cert it definitely requires a certain time and a certain place. Um, neither of which I find myself in all that often at all. Um, so yeah, Kaoli Deja Vu White Flower. Mm. No. Nah. Um, it's overly synthetic, sharp, screechy, cloying, strange. I don't know. 
I loved it when I smelled it in Sephora, when Sephora was still selling Deja Vu White Flower, which they no longer do. Um, I don't even know if it's, I've had it for a while. I don't even know if Kaoli sells it anymore. And then this one, improper storage. Such a shame. And this one is just too sweet. Too sweet, too Barbie pink. Not my zhuzh, so. Okay, everyone, that is it. That's out. That's a wrap. I'm going to go ugh, work out. Hmm. My hands keep sticking together. I'm going to go work out and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful today in the um, eastern U.S. So hopefully you guys get a chance to enjoy the beautiful weather, spend some time with your families. And until next time, I hope you all take care and God bless. Bye everyone.